Hi Pisces, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One, one more thing I wanted to say is please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone offering you a personal reading, please be aware that that is not me, that is a scammer. So please be careful. All right. Pisces, let's take a look at what are your current feelings for the person that you are currently dealing with and connecting to in love. Let's see. All right, Spirit, please show me what are um, Pisces' current feelings for their person, whoever they're dealing with in love. We have the chariot that came out. Some of you are connecting to a Cancer. I'm going to keep this card. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We also have the Two of Pentacles and in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. Might be connecting to... An Aquarius. At the bottom of the deck, we have two of cups in reverse. With the eight of pentacles and the ten of wands. Wow. All right, Pisces. So, hmm. This energy is... I'm not sure. Hold on. Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the world in reverse. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Let me... Strength and the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Okay, I feel like I need to get like lots of cards for you because I feel like your energy is charged. It's, it's charged up. Especially with the chariot here. Um... Some of you want to get away with the chariot card, but it's not that easy. Strength, seven of swords, nine of wands. It's not that easy to get away from this situation, from this connection, this person. You're struggling here, Pisces. You're definitely struggling to, to cut the cord, I guess you can say, to cut the cord, to, to cut the attachment. Especially with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's like you don't want to go back to this because we have the Ten of Wands. You don't want to go back because you feel burdened here with the Ten of Wands. You feel, you feel burdened by this relationship. You feel like there's a lot of emotional distance between you and this person, physical distance between you and this person. And the chariot card is, is like an energy of you want to do something, like you want things to, like, or like you want to help, like you want to help the situation. Uh, 
um, you want you want to experience progress and uh, forward movement improvements. It's almost like there's so much that you want to do. There's so much that you want to give. There's so much that you want to manifest. But it looks like everything seems to go against you with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So, you know, maybe it's not meant to be Pisces, I guess. Because the Wheel of Fortune represents the universe, you know. Um, it's the energy of the universe that is supporting you, even when it's in retrograde. Uh, um, even when it's in retrograde, sorry. Even when it's in reverse. Even when the, when the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse, it also represents the same thing. It, it, it represents the universe supporting you. It's just that it doesn't feel good. It, it feels uncomfortable and unpleasant when it's when it's in reverse. It feels a lot better when it's upright. But no matter if it's upright or reverse, it still mean it still represents the universe working in your favor, supporting you. Helping you. And it looks like you have some kind of a, agenda, I guess, with the chariot card. You have an agenda or an objective. You have some kind of goal that you want to manifest, that you want to you wanna fulfill. But it might not be the right time with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, or you just might not be going down the right direction. I don't know, let's get some clarity over that. Tell me about the chariot card spirit. Yeah, some of you are realizing this also. Some of you are like awakening up, uh, awakening up to this um, fact. Yeah, look at that. Four of Cups and the Six of Swords. I just said that right now. Exactly, That's exactly what I just said. I feel like some of you are waking up to, to the fact that something is... is not bringing you the, the satisfaction or the, the, um, the fulfillment that you deserve to experience, especially in love, you know? You deserve to experience this energy of satisfaction and fulfillment. And you're not, you've been stuck here. You've been stuck in a, in a connection and in, in a situation. And some of you are kind of um, spreading your wings and, you know, taking flight towards a new energy, a new direction. At least that's what you want to do. I don't feel like you're still flying. I don't feel like you're, you're flying yet, you know. I feel like you're getting there. You're not flying yet. You're still going through a process of, of acceptance, I suppose you can say, of, of acceptance. Especially with the strength card here. Tell me about, yeah, but you see we have the seven of swords in reverse, so it's like you're not there yet. You're still kind of thinking about this situation, still kind of... Um, trying to pick it apart, trying to um, rationalize 
the situation, trying to find the logic, you know, trying to find the logic in the situation. And sometimes there is no logic, you know. There is no logic. It, it, it's just not right for you or it's just not meant for you. There's no logic behind that. Tell me about that Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We have the Tower in reverse, yeah? And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, some of you have been holding back from moving forward with your life because you've been hoping that the relationship could be saved with the, with the Tower in reverse. You, you've been hoping that a miracle could still possibly happen, which it can, you know, miracles can happen, but you can't wait forever, you know? That's, that's the thing, you can't wait forever. Tell me about strength here. Judgment and the Knight of Cups. And tell me about the Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles, King of Wands, Page of Wands here, please. Yeah, I feel like you want to make things right with this person, like your, your heart is in the right place, you know? Your heart is in the right place, your, your intentions are, are in the right place or are in a good place. But it takes two. And I feel like all I see here is your energy, Pisces. I don't feel like I'm seeing your the energy of your person here, you know? I feel it, it looks like you're all alone here. And that's the thing, you can't do you can't do things on your own. You need you need your partner or your person to also be on the same page with you and I feel like that's not the case but I feel like your heart is in the right place and like you you do truly want or, or you did want to make things right here and resolve the issues and compromise but you're not receiving any support from whoever you're dealing with. And it looks like you're the only one who is really wanting to save the relationship, or at least that's how it seems. So you have to kind of, you know, pull the trigger at some point, you know, accept reality, I guess, at some point with the four of cups. Like I said, I feel like the universe is like helping you and supporting you here. Almost like protecting you, actually. I'm getting kind of like a, a protection energy. I feel like the universe is protecting you, whether you notice it or not. Okay, let's see your person and then let's see what their feelings are. see spirit angels and guys please show me what are pisces person's current feelings for pisces whoever it is that pisces is connecting to and dealing with in love what are their current feelings for pisces thank you spirit
right, let's take a look. Pisces, um, the first card that showed up here is the Magician. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. We have Hermit in reverse. We have the Two of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Swords. Wow, a lot of sword energy. Ooh, look at that. We have the Two of Cups here and we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. So they're really conflicted here about this uh, relationship with you, with the Two of Cups. This is definitely someone who has strong feelings for you, Pisces, with the Two of Cups. But with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I feel like um, you might be dealing with some you might be dealing with someone who has a lot of ego and um, who covers up their true feelings here for you. They're stressed out about this, whether they show you that or not. They're really stressed out about this division between you two. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Jeez, oh, Ten of Cups. Okay. Ace of Wands in reverse also. Interesting. So, looks to me like this person is kind of um, retreating their energy and deciding not to give to this relationship not deciding not to give any time or energy to this relationship anymore they're removing themselves from the equation here and deciding to focus on their work career money finances personal stability and with the magician card it's like they're They're trying to become more independent. They're trying to detach from this relationship, this connection with you, and become more independent, more self-sufficient. Um, more stable within themselves and within their life. With the Ten of Cups, I feel like this is someone who is pursuing their own happiness on their own. I do feel like you're dealing with someone who has a lot of like um, ambition, ambitions. They have a lot of projects, they have a lot of goals, they're very work oriented. They might have a business or they might be trying to build a business for themselves. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who's just um, right now, they're trying to change their mindset And they're trying to change their priorities and just focus on, on creating happiness for themselves on their own. With the Eight of Swords, I feel like this is someone who has felt really affected by this relationship with you. And they feel like they need to get back in charge of their life because they, they, they were feeling very lost and really disconnected from themselves and from their purpose. And I feel like for some of you, this person um, is committing themselves towards creating wealth 
creating wealth and creating um, success in, in career, in business, in work. Okay, tell me about the magician. Queen of Cups and the Sun. So for some of you, this person, I don't feel like, not necessarily is this person like sh shutting down this relationship with you or like, you know, rejecting this relationship with you completely i feel like for some of you this person is feeling like right now is not the right time for you and them to be together or to work on this relationship you know right now is not the right time for you to to have any kind of new beginning with each other they feel like right now they need to put their attention and focus on themselves and on their stability and their goals. And I feel like they're in this, their, their mentality is, if this is meant to be, it's going to be, it's going to happen, you know. At some point, it's going to happen. But right now, I don't feel like it's the right time and I don't feel like um, I'm, I'm in the right place to, to invest in this relationship anymore. With the magician, you're dealing with someone who feels like they need to work on themselves and they need to work on, on building up their self-worth. Okay, yeah, so that's what I see, Pisces. That's kind of, um, I guess it's kind of straightforward. Tell me about the Hermit card, because I feel like this person um, had some kind of epiphany of some kind. What's the Hermit in reverse spirit? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, and the Hierophant upright. Well, yeah, I feel like it, they had an epiphany here that they were wasting their time too much with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Hierophant upright. It's like they they had the epiphany of, I need to work on myself. Like I said, I need to um, establish my, my self-worth. And my um, my stability, my physical stability, economic stability. I need to make sure that I can, you know, offer the most, or that I can be the most valuable, the most valuable person I can be. Again, I'm feeling I'm feeling like a very ambitious type of person here. So that's the epiphany they had because I feel like this person felt like they were neglecting neglecting themselves. And that, it's not that they were blaming you though with the two of cups, but they just feel like it wasn't the right time for them to be focusing on you because they still have a lot of work to do um, in regards to their goals and what they and what they want to achieve, so I feel like that's what this person is doing. Um, it's not a guarantee that later on this relationship will will manifest in the right way, but I feel like this person right now is thinking, you know, if it's meant to be, it will be. They're, they're choosing not to worry about it anymore with the Eight of Swords upright. All right, Pisces, I hope that made sense to you. 
and I hope it resonated. I hope this helped you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.